Division round of the playoffs, Giants, Falcons. Last time we played the Falcons, we allowed over 500 yards of total offense, and we only lost by three. So if we can hold the Falcons to less than 500 total yards today, I think we're going to come out on top. We are a very, very good team, 87 overall across the board. They are only an 82 overall, but that 81 offense plays more like a 91. So this is not exactly going to be a cakewalk. Desmond Ritter is somehow the best quarterback of all time. We got to go half pads and split per usual. Oh, we had Josh Allen on the Falcons right now. We're going to go run inside. I like run inside the best, although I feel like it never takes effect until the second half. We can't run, period, the entire first half, and then boom, second half hits, and suddenly with run inside game plan, we are unstoppable. That pretty much seems to be what it is, but uh, if we can actually run the ball successfully, we're going to have an easy time winning the game. The biggest problem, and it's, I always see it in the comments, like, oh, why, you always go away from the run. It's like, if we start with a run on first down and don't gain a yard, I'm not just going to run the ball again on second and 11, or second and nine, Right, we mix it up. We probably like our chances more passing the football in that spot. But I'm not just going to run the ball into my own offensive line consistently. So if we can actually run successfully, I think we win. The rookie, Caleb Claiborne out of Notre Dame, does have an upgrade point. And he is revealed to have superstar dev. Let's go ahead and do field general. Make him a little bit more well-balanced. I'd love some zone coverage increases here if possible. Get man in zone by one, that's not bad. Pursuit by one as well. He already tackles pretty well. He's gonna be just be a solid player for us. Not the fastest, not the best, but just overall a really solid rotational player that will absolutely have a role on this team. And we'll see if we can take out the Falcons today in advance to the conference championship. Let's get it, they got Fletcher Cox too, okay. The Giants lost a classic, that's what the uh, the game preview guy sounds like. Can the Giants win or can the Atlanta Falcons get this series sweep? We're gonna start off Greg Sheldon. Big time return. It's not a bad one. Anything past the 25 will take. And Cody Bailey will take the field. Coach Dang is giving him some words of approval, I'm sure. Cody Bailey's played really well of late. Finished the year passing for over 5,000 yards, 37 touchdowns, 21 picks. And based off his performance in the first round of the playoffs in that wild card game, he might be even better. Really finding his stride here. And also some of these players have gotten equipment upgrades for the playoffs, but we'll see the defense we're going to be facing first. Desmond Ritter, of course, is their star quarterback, but we are facing... Dean Lowry, and we usually kick off, so this is a little strange to be receiving. Grady Jarrett still sticking around Atlanta. The former Texas Longhorn standout to Quan Graham. Fletcher Cox to Sean Wharton. Pretty decent duo on the interior. Linebackers, of course, to the developing Arnold Ebicady. Deion Jones still in there on the inside, and Josh Allen was a big free agent pickup. Corners, we know it's a pretty good group. A.J. Terrell, Bryce Hall, Rashad Fenton, and Kerry Murray. Free safety is... Dwayne Woodson might see Richie Grant as well. He's played really well in real life. And then Ronnie Harrison is in at strong safety. It's a decent defense. Hopefully we can still beat them anyway. And it's an okay start. I don't love it. Don't love it. Maybe juke back a little bit prematurely. Sets up second and nine. We're so used to that. I feel like we always start games like that. But that's going to be fairly open. Nick Duvall, broken tackle would have been nice. I worried about that boundary corner making a play on that. But as you can see, Nick Duvall is looking just a little bit different. Got kind of more of a black theme going on. He's got double arm sleeves now. The dark visor. And he is a menace. We're actually going to get him the football up the seam wide open. Duvall with speed is dragged down by Harrison. That could have been a touchdown. But a huge gain nonetheless. Nick Duvall... Already his second catch of this drive, celebrating big time. Awesome play for the offense. If you don't cover Nick Duvall at the scene, you're going to have a bad day. He wins so often up the seam. We're able to just throw inside in between the two safeties, past the linebackers. He is a beast and obviously a major part of this offense, as you guys know very well if you've seen the series up to this point. Nick Duvall is quickly evolving into becoming arguably the best tight end in the NFL. Trying to cut back with Saquon. Ends up being an okay gain. Wanted those cuts to be a little bit quicker. I guess I got to remember to use that hard cut mechanic with the left trigger. 
But second and one, I think play action is going to be perfect here. I love Odell on that post or Duvall coming across the formation. We're actually going to be facing a blitz. Duvall's open. Bailey can't hit him. Didn't have the time with the blitz. It will be third and one. We're going to go ahead and change. Can we run the ball? I think we can. We got Evan Neal, superstar dev. Duvall's going to come in motion. And Barkley just shoots right up the middle. Easy first down. Let's go Saquon. And Saquon also has kind of what he has going on in real life, too. I did an equipment style upgrade and update for a bunch of players in real life. Dexter Lawrence, Saquon Barkley, Aziz Ojolari, Kayvon Thibodeau. You'll see some of those guys a little bit later. But we're still trying to score here on offense. What do we like here? Maybe Odell, a little bit of a mismatch in that slot. That's a pretty good route from Odell. We'll take that to the seven. I think we could run on this look as well. That's a good block. Barkley one-on-one, -on -one, trucks right through Dwayne Woodson. Saquon touchdown, we're on the board first here on the road. Looking for revenge against the Dirty Birds, the Atlanta Falcons. Good block, Barkley of course with great power. Was never gonna get stonewalled there before the goal line. And look at that safety. Just didn't wanna make that hit. You're afraid of contact, it's gonna find you. Physical football from the Giants and Saquon Barkley to start things off. 7-0, that could not have gone better. And Desmond Ritter and the Atlanta Falcons will take the field. He had a great season, about 4,900 yards, 36 touchdowns to only 13 interceptions. Very good year. We know what he can do against us. Of course, the gameplay, I feel like, changes so drastically. You guys know at this point I can't change the sliders. They're going to be really, really tough, even though we've had a lot of great success recently. But every time they do a game update, I feel like the game changes so much. Don't know when the last one was, but we know Ritter was dominant the last time we faced him. Good speed to get out of the pocket as well. Good acceleration. Running back is Cam Akers. He was also dominant. Crushed us last time. Might see Daryl Henderson some as well. Jakob Johnson, a fullback. Receiving core featuring Drake London, Brian Edwards, and Nelson Aguilar. A lot of size in this receiving core. 6'4", 6'3". Everyone else at six foot or above. And we know, of course, Kyle Pitts is a menace. 92 speed at 6'6", six six, 245 pounds. 99 overall at this point. And a rookie tight end, Jaden Myrick, is no slouch either. Left tackle, still Jake Matthews, Jalen Mayfield, Matt Hennessy, Spencer Burford, and Andrew Charles across the offensive line. It is a good team. They are solid, and they have beaten us before. Dontrell Cobb also got a bit of an upgrade, too, featuring an arm brace here for the playoffs. And this is a little sweep, and we have space. Oh, my goodness, we need to close that down quicker. Aguilar for 14 on a run play. Okay, was not expecting that. So many teams run jet sweep on us, but I'm never really expecting it. Always kind of expecting a fake and that the running back's going to get it. And we would probably think that with how successful Cam Akers was last time we played him, as Dontrell Cobb can't reach Kyle Pitts, and Pitts is defying physics. How did he just morph through that? He stretched like Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four. What in the world just happened? A little just underneath route. Couldn't reach it with Cobb. Surely we should be able to swat that away. Couldn't do it. And then Pitts here. What is that? He just bends back like he's doing... Uh, the What is it? What is it called? Uh, limbo. That was weird. Also, my settings have changed. Why do I hear Charles Davis? Why does this keep happening? Still all Madden, obviously. My settings change every single time. Maybe not every time, but last time I loaded up Madden, it asked me to like redo all of my settings, which was really bizarre. It's like I had to play the um, like the preview of the game and like the, the tutorial and all that, which is so strange. I was so worried that my settings had reset and I was going to lose Giants franchise. Thankfully, not the case, as we know. Here's first and ten. A little play action. Get back, Dontrell. They're going deep. And, it, of course, the pass is complete. It's caught. It's broken tackle touchdown, Drake London. I mean, every time we switch on, it does not physically allow me to make a play on the ball. If I don't switch on, he's catching it anyway. So it's, if they go one-on-one, -on -one, we've seen this the entire year. Any one-on-one -on -one is an automatic catch and probably a touchdown. Glenn Gore could not wrap up. Verrett obviously dives to the ground. We've seen that a billion times. It happens whether I hold the button or not. They just dive to the ground. They don't play the ball. And I, I've seen it a billion times. 
The receiver DB one-on-one -on -one animations this year are among the worst I've probably ever seen in any game. I think I actually prefer it to back like NCAA 14 where they just didn't have any. A contested catch didn't exist. But I think I prefer that to the disaster that we're seeing now. And Greg Sheldon fumbles the ball. You're off the team. You're benched. I'm... Oh, my God. Dude, can we get to Desmond Ritter, please? Please do not let this be a touchdown. Thankfully, Jason Verrett breaks it up. As you may remember, Darnay Holmes not playing in this game. He is out for the season with, I believe, a dislocated knee. Doesn't sound good. Doesn't sound fun. We better make a hit. Akeel Edmonds, let's go. Let him know about it. All right, we're sending heat here. Get the ball out quickly. Do something. Ritter throws over the middle. <laughs> London with another broken tackle. I don't know. There were just too many receivers there. The flat was wide open because I wanted to send... Uh, uh, not, I don't think it was Aziz Ojolari. I think it was Derek Cooper on that. And everything was going to be open there. Kind of no winning. We tried to rush three. I end up sending four. And it's a Cam Akers touchdown. There was, we're going to do it again. We're not going to be able to stop the Falcons. They are the most unstoppable offense of all time. Uh, the fumble on the kickoff return results in points for Atlanta, and we are now playing from behind. We don't have momentum, and we're going to be going home early. I guess not that early, but early-ish. All right, Sheldon, I didn't bench you. Give me a reason why. Wow, magical to the 31. All right, Cody. I know Cody Bailey's got to be pissed. Because he's starting to play really well, and it's the other members of the team who are selling him now. Like, previously, oh, Cody Bailey fumbled. Cody Bailey launched an interception. But lately, second half of the season, it's, oh, Larry Smith fumbled the ball. Oh, Odell dropped it. Oh, Larry Smith fumbled again. Oh, Odell dropped it again. Oh, and Odell dropped it again. And he dropped it again. And now we got random guys fumbling before we can even touch the football. It's ridiculous. The only thing we can count on at this point, if he's not injured, is Nick Duvall. And man, let me tell you something. I bit my tongue yesterday, and talking is annoying. Uh, Kadarius Tony was wide open. Just chose to dink it down. I think that's okay. And they actually went three. Who is at middle safety? Look at him breaking down. Look at him back there. That's Fletcher Cox. Fletcher Cox is their deep safety. How do we exploit that? Oh my goodness, we gotta keep them in this personnel. Look at him out there. He tries the hit stick, can't do it. We're going hurry up. If you think Fletcher Cox can play deep safety, you're gonna find out. All right, he's back. <laughs> he's back to a more normal position. All right. That was fun while it lasted though. Oh, that that's bad, that's bad. AJ Terrell interception. Um, under pressure through the comeback route too early. Nick Duvall open across the middle of the field and uh, tried to anticipate the route from Kadarius Tony. Did not work. Maybe the football came out a little bit prematurely. Now that I'm seeing the pressure, we would have been hit in a second. But man. Oh, also, what a shit route from Kadarius Tony. Running a little comeback route. Look at how rounded off this is. I guess he got bumped, but okay. All right, big turnover, just as I was talking about how Cody Bailey's been great. Ball comes out a little bit early, sure. But, I mean, you got to throw with anticipation on those. A little bit too much anticipation, I think. A little bit too much there. Oh, Ritter under pressure, down he goes. Quincy Roche, this guy always on the field. I don't know how he gets on there. They rotate defensive ends in and out. And Quincy Roche is just somehow a playmaking machine. I don't ask for him to be out there. I don't know how he sneaks onto the field, but he does and he makes plays. Reminding me a lot of what happened to, uh... oh no, that's no good. Thank God Ritter missed that. Reminds me a lot of, who was the safety? Andrew Soro from Lions franchise. I don't think he made plays for us regularly, but he always kept sneaking out onto the field. I didn't understand it. I didn't like it. He quickly became a cult favorite as the check down will go to London. Check him down there at the 33. That is the end of the first quarter. Not a great quarter for us, all things considered. A couple of mistakes have us down 14-7, but we did a good job here to stop the Falcons' offense finally, and uh, we'll have a chance to score. Annoying interception, no doubt, but we're going to make up for it.
Good change of direction, Sheldon. All right, decent. It wasn't good change of direction. I lied. It was so slow. Turned like a truck. Just streak Duval and see what happens. That's pretty much what we're going to do. Throw him for Tony. Can't get it there. Beckham clear out Larry Smith deep over the middle. That's exactly what's going to happen. That could have been intercepted. That needed to be a touch pass. Uh, upon further review, that would have been absolutely wide open. Little things. We're just, we're just, it's just not clicking right now. Oh, no. They're blitzing. Duvall's wide open. Good throw on the run. Nick Duvall. Oh, you got to go through him. Come on. You want to show double A gap? We're going to run right at you. You're going to get blown off the ball. Oh, Fletcher Cox, get out of here. Saquon's still on his feet. I got my hand, or I got my hands off the controller. How is he still going? Uh, RPO is not going to work. That safety stepped up right into the throwing lane. How did he know? Does he know? How does he know? There's Barkley. Good speed. Going to outrun Tomlinson. Broken tackle. That is a Saquon Barkley first down. He's really come on lately as a receiver for us. Definitely want to keep that going. Is Duvall going to be wide open here? We're just going to check down. Kadarius Tony has this easy guaranteed yardage. On first down, we can do that. I mean, we also could have taken a chance in that situation, taken a shot, but opted not to. Larry Smith. Oh, he's got good speed. Let's go, Larry. Living like Larry. It's a good gain. 10 yards. Here's a run. Barkley. Don't fumble. I mean, surely Nick Duvall, is, well, he's going to be uncoverable on the slant here. Nope, nope, nope. Found Larry. Didn't freak out. Found the right receiver. Larry Smith, touchdown. His fourth in the last, what, five, six quarters? He has been unbelievable. Yeah, three touchdowns in the first half of last game. Now one here in the second quarter. We're going to tie things up at 14. Good stuff. I mean, I freaked out a little bit there because I, I kind of wanted to throw to Nick Duvall on two separate occasions. I stayed calm enough, calm enough, and uh, hit Larry Smith. Saying calm there is the uh, imperative word because I freak out in those situations sometimes. I force the football. Check down, you little bitch. Good throw. Wow. All right, Xavier McKinney off the edge. We're going to go ahead and lean over. Oh, did we line up off sides? No. He's on the line. Offsides. McKinney, uh, dude, really? I know I've looked at this before in the replay, and I'm like, all right, yeah, he was offsides. I really brought him offsides? This is offsides? I mean, yeah, but... Ah, I don't know. That's tough. Second and five now. Would have been a way better spot for us, obviously. Check down, trying to cover everybody. Ritter's just going to escape. Throw it away. Ah, oh. Dude, we got to be able to bring these mobile quarterbacks down when they try to pull this fancy crap. Like, how is that not intentional grounding? I think because it's turned off because the quarterbacks play uh, way worse. Oh, and we're torched. Dory Jackson torched by Brian Edwards. Brian Edwards is going to torch Adoree Jackson. Dude couldn't separate from a middle school corner and now torches Adoree Jackson. There's no way run up the middle feels obvious here. It's actually play action. Ritter just going to check down. All right, we're going, we're going blitz. We're blitzing everybody. Oh, it's a pitch outside. Get outside. Let me switch on. All right, we save a touchdown. Dude, whenever I'm trying to switch on, they're like, hey, you want to switch on at somebody that's not even involved in the play at all? That will never be able to get to the ball carrier? No. Switch me on to the closest guy. Happens that time, but still a big gain for Atlanta. Daryl Henderson for the first time. Second and two. Dontrell Cobb itching to hit somebody. You can tell. I mean, look at him dancing around like this. He's ready to lay the wood. Oh, and that's just wide open. I mean, there wasn't a defender within three feet just watching Kyle Pitts from afar like he's some uh, lion on the savannah. I feel like I'm watching a documentary, get the binoculars out. Oh, no precious beast. Like, dude, step up, make a play. A little stretch run. We got a decent block on the perimeter. Man, great movement in space there. Wow. All right, they have all the momentum. 21-14. 
I feel like it's not going to be that difficult for us to gain momentum back, though. Uh, it is. You know why? Because I try to... Every time I try to step up, get rid of the football, man. I, we can never step up through the line. Maybe one day I'll learn. Odell's going to drop this, by the way. Mm, please don't. Oh, beautiful. Whipped it right over the head of Tomlinson. Thankfully, can't jump. We're throwing deep. Kadarius Tony! Why did they jump? It's going to land perfectly in your arms. This happened last week. He made the catch. Why does he jump? It's going to be a perfect throw. You don't have to jump. Just keep running. I'm so sick of it, and I've done it again. I, I can't make a decision on these mesh routes, and then I try to step up, and I step up right into a, an all-pro defensive tackle, historically great. And they can see my primary routes via coach cam. They know what I'm doing every time. Will they be able to run with it, though, is a different question. And we're going to find out the answer to it. The lob. Oh, it's beautiful touch. It's beautiful. Under pressure, Cody Bailey, dart. That's how you throw with anticipation. Perfectly timed. Good catch by Odell. We've seen him drop easier catches to make. Bailey took a shot. Perfectly thrown ball. Third and long. Gotta have it. And we had it. Let's mix it up here. Little, little Saquon run. That's good, pal. Oh, he took a shot. Okay. I mean, Odell or Tony, in theory, should be wide open. Should be wide open. They kind of cover it. Check down. Not close. Third down and four. Again. Gotta have it. Check down. Tony. Nice catch. Under pressure throw delivered accurately. They finally can't see our primary route like that. I'm doing it again. I've done it again. Bailey sacked. We're going to call a timeout. I, I got to stop calling mesh because I feel I, for whatever reason today, I can't make a decision in time on it. Can I get to inside zone, please? Dude, every, every audible is inside or is RPO zone peak. Give me inside zone. Thankfully. I know there's something you can do, like you just make a playbook or set your plays. Uh, no. Oh, <laughs> Saquon, first down uh, is very close now. Very achievable. Third and two. We could run again. I think we will. And we'll call a timeout just after, regardless of the result here. Barkley up the middle. Timeout. All right, only one remaining. First and goal from the two. A delay fade actually feels stupid. If we put Barkley on a whip route, we can. That could be money. That could be money. First and goal. Barkley. We missed him. All right, five seconds. Last play. Ball's got to come out quickly. Here we go. Larry Smith open. They didn't cover him. He's a touchdown machine. Touchdown, Larry Smith. Second of the half. And he has five touchdowns now in the last two games unbelievable they don't cover him why would they not they knew the route too they wanted to send pressure they sent everybody zero blitz zero positive for the falcons there 21 21 can you do some no that's okay uh two seconds remain in the half falcons probably would love to have the lead here and they've played well enough to have it but they just haven't been able to capitalize on defense other than, of course, that one A.J. Terrell interception. And um, we're in a fine position. 21 all. Third quarter, here we come. Ooh, and Carolina defeats the Cowboys. 21-17. And um, I guess that's who we'll be playing if we advance here, clearly. And unfortunately, we have to kick off to start the second half. Always hate doing that. But you know what? You know what? My settings probably changed with the thing I talked about earlier. And uh, it probably has me as wanting to receive the football. I don't. Not to start the game. I feel like you get way more of an advantage when you get it to start the uh, second half. Because you really know what you need at that point. And if you're down, boom. Great opportunity to come back. Ritter with all day. Incomplete will be third and seven. This is actually a really big third down. If we can stop the Falcons from scoring here, 
on this first drive of the, uh, why is it so open? First drive of the second half. We're going to be in good position. Fourth and one. And they will punt from their own 34, of course. I, I get why it was open, but when we have the middle of the field with the linebacker there, I would love a little bit more awareness for, uh, I don't know, the, d the dude to cover the flat who is also on the middle of the field. Just get out there to the wide open player. How about that? All right, let's go, Saquon. Big second half. I mean, he's been running tough today. I feel like he's bouncing off of every tackle. And I really would love to get him in space as receiver. Don't know if that's going to happen here. This could be an, a neat little play. We'll see how this works. I think, I think Duvall's wide open. Oh my goodness, Nick Duvall. Big turn up the field. And a big gain by the Giants offense, courtesy of guess who? The only guy it ever is. Nick Duvall, except for when it's Larry Smith in the end zone. Yeah, wide open, beautiful throw. Kind of did a little makeshift levels concept on that side. Larry Smith in short. Saquon underneath. And we we have the same exact play call here. Uh, let's mix, the, mix this up. I wish we could go uh, post here on Duvall. We'll see if anyone covers him. Larry Smith wide open. Good throw, good timing. Out of bounds, first down. Atlanta challenged that? It's a bad challenge. What are you doing? All right, still out of empty here. I kind of like the idea of Kadarius Tony on a whip route. Kind of covered. Underneath, Larry Smith. Let's go. Larry Smith, broken tackle. Oh, and he's going to fall down. Okay. I don't know why I'm not choosing to run the football. I wish they would show me a, a lighter look. Odell! Oh, beautiful ball! Threading the needle to Odell today. Great pass. Again, good catch. Odell's been dropping the football. So catching these types of passes where he's going to end up taking a hit. We're really close. Gotta love it. And it is first and goal. Fourth catch of the game for Odell. See, I don't like to run on these fronts. It's like they're basically saying, we know you're going to run. Try your best. And I don't like that. A little delay. Duvall. Oh, he's down at the one. And here... They are begging me to run the football. Guaranteed touchdown. Saquon Barkley, TD number two. Tying Larry Smith for the team lead. We'll take the lead. 28-21. Really good drive in general. But if you show that look on the goal line, three down linemen, what do you think is going to happen? Exactly that. Terrible play call. Tampa two on the goal line? No. Maybe, maybe red two. Not, not Tampa 2, ever. All right, defense, hold up. Ah, it's a bad start. I feel like they could just run the ball and we'd never stop them. Three rushes for 16 yards isn't incredible. It's not bad at all. It's not incredible. And with that, with that rate, if they continue, I mean, we're going to get crushed. Ritter, of course, broken tackle. Big hit Cobb on the sideline, but a big gain for Atlanta. Are they discovering that they can just run the ball on us successfully? I would hate for them to discover that. That would be really bad news because they, I, I want to say Cam Akers had 170 yards rushing in the previous uh, meetup. It's a good one-on-one -on -one tackle by Ojolari though. Second and eight, they're going to bring those receivers closer to the line. What does it mean? What does it mean? Okay, well, I don't know how we could have covered that. They, they were going to have two receivers open there no matter what, or at least one of them. We kind of played Drake London at first and then let him go because we had a, a corner supposedly covering the flat there. And then we, we went to take away the middle and they just checked down. London with a very similar stat line to Odell Beckham Jr. in this one. And uh, the Falcons, of course, looking to answer. And it's just a check down. And it's just broken tackles per usual. Cobb, blow somebody up. Oh my goodness. Unguardable. Unguardable slant. A slant against man coverage is not a guardable route. It really isn't. A little jet sweep here. Make a tackle. Let's go. Verrett. Boss. Right there. Aguilar. Who gained 14, I believe, his first time. Gets nothing here. Second and 10. Man coverage. A little whip route. Oh, with the stop was amazing. I mean, that, that really just shook me out of my shoes. Third and three. If we can get pressure on Ritter here, 
force an early throw, we're going to be in business. They're going to mix things up. Surely a pass. Let's pass commit. Couldn't do it in time. Ritter going near the end zone. Incomplete. That may have hit Jason Verrett in the chest. Doesn't come away with it. And the Falcons will try a field goal on fourth and three. I get it. A lot of game left. A lot of game left. This makes sense. Second and four play action after a good Saquon run. Little rollout. Can we hit that? No. Cody, I know crossbody. Other side. You got to hit that throw, though. It's a big game. Now it's third and four as a result. Could have just run for it. But, we, I mean, we got to be able to pass there. Duvall, can't get it to him. Throw out a sack. Waited too long. Falcons bet of uh, betting on their defense. Going to cash. We'll punt on fourth and four. Cody Bailey miss really, really, really hurt us right there. No bones about it. It's a good punt, though. Not returnable? Get a foot out. Ah, he's going to get some yards. Nearly a great punt. Maybe the last play of the third quarter. Probably will be. And it will be a run. Cobb! Big hit, but he can't bring down the running back. We got to be better. We got to be better. They're just going to run the ball down our throat here in the fourth quarter and win the game. Got to play better defense. We are much better than we played the first time we met. But we're not good enough, still. 11 minutes to go. 11 minutes sit between us and the NFC Championship. And that's a good start. Injure their best players, we have a better chance to win. I hope we don't see Kyle Pitts for the rest of the game. That's good strategy. Take the versatile weapon out of the game. Another check down, though. I mean, they have a lot of weapons that have hurt us this game. I form. Gotta be a run. Give me a little stretch left. Akers breaking all types of tackles. Still on his feet. Brought down from behind by Derek Cooper. Okay. Second and five. I mean, we got to stop them. We got to get them out of the end zone. Field goal I'd be fine with. Cam Akers is wide open. Oh, this is going to be stopped. Let's go, John Bost. Simmons cleans up. Dontrell Cobb there as well. Akers only eight carries for 34 yards now. I think we've subdued him pretty well again stark contrast to what happened the first time we met and down goes Ritter Aziz Ojolari has been so clutch for us and has the biggest play of the game I'll say it forcing third and 15 in that spot major major for our defense Keep them from getting any yards. Field goals, I guess, effectively fine. But they're not really even in field goal range. This would be a real long one. They might have to punt here. And they are going to opt to punt. Our defense held up big time. And now the Falcons will try and pin us deep. Bet on their defense again. This is going to the end zone. We'll start from the 20. 7-12 to play. Can we really just hit them off play action here? It's an RPO. It's not what I want. This is closer to what I want. I'm going for the dagger here. Working off play action. They're kind of over it. We're going to throw quickly. Get it to Gadarius Tony. Nice. Good chain mover. Picking up 15. And now I think we're going to see what Saquon Barkley can do. Change the direction. Barkley. Another one. Broken tackle. Still on his feet. Brought down at the 42. I mean, I, I got to get a little bit worried about when that's happening. Because... A big result of Saquon not going down is potentially fumbling. I think the chances of fumbling go up significantly in those little interactions. And the absolute last thing we need right now is a fumble. It would be disastrous. I mean, it's not even a stretch. It would be the worst thing that could happen. Because they would get the football back with not a lot of time. And they could take the lead with a touchdown. It would be awful. Okay, this could be big. Depending on coverage here, Nick Duvall could be absolutely wide open. And uh, first of all, he dropped it. That play being an RPO, it's going to be a legal man downfield. I, there's just not nearly enough time for that to develop at all. I mean, we threw it in what, like a second, maybe two? Already way too far down the field. With those RPOs, you got to throw it instantly. Snap the ball, boom, hit your target. Now it's second and 14. Really bad penalty for us. Kadarius Tony wide open. Hit him that time. Make somebody miss. Okay. KT to the 38. 
We are about to field goal range, which would be... That would be good. That would make it a touchdown game, 31-24. So at absolute minimum, we need to come away with three here. Barkley, good run. I mean, we are well in wide Anthony range. We know that guy can hit from pretty much anywhere. And if we can make this safety make a decision, Larry Smith could have touchdown number three. I mean, Duvall, what is that? Nice catch. Oh, that was weird. He ran that route so far to the inside of where he actually should have been. But a good gain. He is now in the zone. We're going to run to the power Beck. Power back. Zach Beck in here. Wow. Showcasing tremendous power. Second and goal. They're doubling. And Larry Smith. Touchdown number three. Back-to-back -back games with three touchdowns for Larry Smith. He is a playoff machine. You know what? That's fine. You want to double Nick Duvall? You're not going to account for the guy that's already scored two touchdowns in this game? That's the result. <laughs> Try me with a sorry-ass receiver like Crabtree. That's the result you're going to get. One of the craziest post-game interviews of all time, courtesy of Richard Sherman. But we are up by 11. Two minutes to go. Falcons going to need a lot. Ah, can't get to it. All right, that's a really good start. Akers with a broken tackle on Gore. It's a really good start. That's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Ah, uh, can we make that play? No, of course not. Because it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Never. That's going to be a touchdown. Okay. Jaden Myrick. Caught us napping a little bit there, that's for sure. All right, Atlanta. Trying to make this a field goal game. Couldn't get over there in time. I mean, we were supposed to blitz anyway. And uh, it was never going to happen. And, of course, it's an onside. Of course. Yep, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Call timeout. All right, onside recovery. Nick Duvall out there in the zone. We are a recovery. Oh, my goodness. It was bouncing around. Wandell on it. We are a first down away now from moving on. All right, second and nine. We need a first down here. Come on. We got to get close. I, how it was, did I miss something? Third and ten. Here we go. Might look to lean on Nick Duvall. We're gonna throw to him. He's got double me. Would have been a sick catch. Instead, we're gonna have to punt. Uh, I was only really looking at one receiver on that. I'm. I, we're. No, we've made a mistake. All right. I don't want all power. No touchback on this. That's a good punt. It's a good punt. Not a lot of hang time, but they're going to start on their own 13. No timeouts. Season on the line for both teams. If the Falcons score a touchdown, they're going to win. Field goal, of course, would force overtime. I don't think we're going to have time for another drive either way. So defense, you got to come up clutch. It's a bad start. Bad start. He stayed in bounds, though. That clock's going to tick. We are under a minute now from the 31. Who do we even cover? They're going deep. Verrett can't swat it away, but Glenn Gore comes in like a hero and knocks the football out. Ritter going down the field, and it's intercepted by McKinney. Xavier McKinney's going to send us to the NFC Championship. Xavier McKinney ends it in Atlanta. Intercepting Desmond Ritter and cashing our ticket to the next round. Good return as well. Victory formation. It's over. We're moving on. All right. That was not an easy one. Tied up at halftime. We pulled away a little bit in the uh, second half. But, of course, the Falcons, they fought pretty hard. A couple of mistakes we'd like to get back, obviously. But overall, didn't play too bad. Man. Cody Bailey and Desmond Ritter, no love lost there. That was the quickest handshake I've probably ever seen. <laughs> Cody Bailey, man, what a guy. And pretty similar numbers all around. Similar score, similar passing and rushing yards numbers, similar completion percentage, both with the interception. But of course, uh, we had a little bit more, and we end up with a little bit more points as well. Cody Bailey goes for 333 touchdowns, one pick. I mean, Ritter... Nearly identical numbers, really. So close. And Cam Akers and Barkley both average 4.2 per carry. Saquon, of course, two touchdowns and uh, 84 compared to 34 yards. 
Receiving, Nick Duvall's a beast. Eight for 141. But Larry Smith, seven catches, three of which went for touchdowns. London beat us up. Akers had a couple of nice catches. Odell was pretty good today. Jaden Myrick, we just fell asleep at the wheel. A lot of touchdown pits, of course, scored a TD. And then defensively, you know, we could have played better for sure. More pressure would have been nice, but half a sack for Cooper and Roche, full sack for Ojolari, and the game-ending interception by McKinney sends us through to the next round. You know, they don't really have any of the fun plays in here if they didn't go for touchdowns, but thank God they have two highlights of fucking kneels. Great work. Actually, they don't even have every touchdown. Good stuff. Eric McCoy with an upgrade. What are you good at? Oh, not much of anything. We'll do pass protector. How is he such a decent overall? I say, you know, he is decent. 83 agile. It's not great. And Xavier McKinney, man, I'd love you for you to be faster. Big game ending interception, though. I think I'm just going to go zone. That boosts him up to a temporary 87. Acceleration by one, not bad. Almost as good as speed. Awareness, pursuit by two, and tackle by one. Acceleration's now a 91. Okay. It's not bad. And it will be the Panthers in the NFC Championship. The Panthers are an 84 overall. A little bit better than the team we just narrowly beat. So I don't actually love the sound of that. We got Christian McCaffrey still. Brian Burns, DJ Moore, Jeremy Chin. Quarterback, I remember Pat Burr. Superstar dev up to an 83 overall. Very accurate short, but not bad accuracy down the field and does have a cannon. So, okay. I guess, was he the right decision in the end over Cody Bailey? Both one year in the league. Bailey is the same overall, right? But one of them has superstar dev. They both, they look pretty similar, to be honest. Cody Bailey, a little bit more accurate in general. But, I don't know. I mean, it, yeah, man, Pat Burr looks pretty good. But it'll be the battle of year two quarterbacks. He's less good under pressure, maybe. I don't know. It's very close. We know McCaffrey. This is a good team. It's going to be, oh, the former Heisman winner, Cecil McFadden. I remember that story, Tommy Tremble. Offensive line doesn't look too bad a lot of injuries on this team it's a beatable team it is beatable not the best team we played certainly not the worst team but uh they might be a problem with chris mccaffrey but that'll be in the nfc championship next episode thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed i'll see you in the next one take it easy